So we're just going to run through what what's involved in the kit, the Emerson plug kit, and um, how to go about the rear end connections. So we've undone our trail plug right here, and this is the bracket that's going to mount our Emerson plug. So in the kit, we're going to have a bracket, some nuts and bolts, and an Emerson plug cover. So we'll start by putting the cover on. So the cover's off just so it's easy to route the cable down towards the back. It's less bulky. So we're just going to take that screw out and take the top part of the seal out. We're going to lay our Anderson plug in, I guess you'd say, upside down. Lining up the two cables with the indentations, as you can see in that side. It's exactly the same. And then we place our rubber seal back into there and reattach the other end by putting that screw through the hole of the Anderson plug. Like so. And there's a little nut that goes in the back of there. We're doing that up with a screwdriver. So now we've got our Anderson in the cover. Now that we've done that, it's time to mount the bracket. So we can see our bracket has a set of three and a set of three there. Um, so that matches up to the Anderson plug. So depending on the vehicle, you may want to go on top, you may want to go underneath. Uh, but in this particular case, we're going to go on top. So we've got a Ford Ranger here. In the Ford Ranger, the cable, the genuine Ford harness comes under the bumper and there's a protective guard there. So we're going to follow the original Ford harness, but some vehicles you may come over the bumper and down. That'll just depend on the vehicle. So what we're going to do now is open up our pack of screws. We're going to use four of them to mount. Mount our Anderson plug. Straight through there. We'll probably put washers on the back side. I won't quite do them up it's just for the demonstrational but basically with a screw gun or a screwdriver and maybe a spanner holding the bottom we do up those four screws and then once we're set up like that it's just a matter of mounting it with the trailer plug so using the existing trailer plug holes that would be in your bracket where the trailer plugs are mounted already we're just going to put that under and then we would reinsert the screws and that would be our end result. So we've got a nice, sturdy mounted Anderson plug in a waterproof cover. The cables run up to the front with a fuse holder, isolator if you've got an isolator. But yeah, that's a quick run through of how to make the connections and fitting up the accessories for the Anderson plug kit.